Welcome back to Mental Math. Today's problem involves two equations with a clever twist. We need to find the product of x and y, and while it might look intimidating at first, watch how the structure of the problem reveals an unexpectedly elegant solution. First, let's focus on the more complex equation involving fractions. Let's start with this equation. To simplify it, we'll need to combine the two fractions on the left side. Our goal is to create a common denominator by multiplying the two denominators together. Combining them gives us the quantity y minus 1 plus x minus 1 in the numerator. All over the quantity x minus 1 times y minus 1. Now, here's where things get interesting. Let's simplify the numerator by rearranging these terms. This lets us group the x and y terms together, which will make our next substitution easier. And now we can combine the constant terms. The numerator simplifies to the quantity x plus y minus 2. To eliminate the fraction, we can multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. We now have the quantity x plus y minus 2 equals the quantity x minus 1 times the quantity y minus 1. Now that we've eliminated the fractions, let's expand the right side and see where our second constraint comes into play. Here is our current equation. We will expand the term on the right. Let's expand this product using FOIL, which gives us four terms. The expansion gives us x times y minus x minus y plus 1. Notice something interesting here. We have negative x and negative y, which we can factor together. And here's the beautiful part. This reveals the quantity x plus y appearing on both sides, which is exactly what we need. Now we bring in our second constraint. The quantity x plus y equals 5. We can substitute 5 wherever we see the quantity x plus y. After substituting, the equation becomes much simpler. 5 minus 2 equals x times y minus 5 plus 1. Now it's just simple arithmetic to find the product. Let's work through the arithmetic, one side at a time. First, we evaluate the left side of the equation. On the left, 5 minus 2 gives us 3. Next, we simplify the constants on the right side. On the right, negative 5 plus 1 gives us negative 4. To isolate the product, we add 4 to both sides, which gives us 3 plus 4 equals x times y. Our final calculation is to sum the numbers on the left, and so we arrive at our final answer. And there we have it. x times y equals 7. What makes this solution so satisfying is how the structure of the problem guided us straight to the answer. Thanks for working through this one with me. If you found the solution as satisfying as I did, the like button is right there, and there's plenty more where this came from if you subscribe.